to townhall.com's Katie Pavlich, uh, pollster Lee Carter. Here is what's getting everyone's attention. All the money that he's been raking in, some say uh, at the expense, uh, ladies, of course, of what's going on with uh, Jeb Bush. Uh, Jeb Bush's COO quit the campaign today. Uh, so bad news uh, on top of bad news. But I, I wonder, Katie, what you make, first of all, as we go through the monies that are coming in, these are commitments of funds. They don't necessarily mean the check's been signed or cleared, but a commitment, which I'm told is a big distinction. But having said that, Katie, he is raking it in, isn't he? He certainly is raking it in, and this is important because, as you mentioned, Jeb Bush's campaign has taken some huge financial hits in the past couple of weeks. As we know, he cut his staff, he's cut salaries by 40 percent, and today his COO resigned. And you look at Marco Rubio's performance this week, and he really proved to donors that, A, he's prepared for attacks that will come at him, and B, that he's willing to take on Hillary Clinton in a way that other candidates maybe cannot or will not. And I think that they're looking at him long term and going, OK, he's the only candidate who who's left, who can bridge the gap between the establishment and the grassroots. He knows how to win, and we're going to put that check down on this guy initially and see if we want to write another one here down the road. You know, Lee, that is an interesting sort of distinction, right? I mean, that, that uh, it's not as if the, the party has given up on the establishment. They just want, I guess, a different type of establishment. And for that, uh, Marco Rubio seems to be benefiting uh, for now. What do you think? I think that's absolutely right. I think when we saw his announcement, he talked about being the next generation of leadership. And I think that's what he's showing. We didn't see it for a while. I think he came out strong in the debate. People are really, really responding to him. He seemed like he was really in his stride. And that's when people like him. He seems different. He seems fresh. He seems new. And... Um, I think he's energized. You know, uh, you can be energized in the moment. All it takes is one mistake or they're all gunning for you. Maybe in the next debate that happens on, I understand, on Fox Business. Don't hold me to that. But, uh, Katie, <laughs> one of the things I always see. I hear see, you're hosting, Neil. <laughs> uh, well, one of the things I always uh, hear with this stuff is that, uh, you know, money is one thing and looking at the latest cash coming in is one thing. But when it comes to just total sums already raised, uh, that is where Jeb Bush still has an advantage. He still has, we're told, in aggregate through PACs and sympathetic uh, monies, better than $100 million. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's a firm figure. I don't know if that's fizzling. But what do you make of that? Because it does give him a distinct advantage for the time being uh, over sure. Marco Rubio. Uh, sure, but we have to keep in mind that, yes, money is a very important thing in campaigns. It's certainly important to keep your campaign going. A lot of the reason why Scott Walker had to drop out so quickly is because his campaign was too big for the, am the amount of money that they had. But money isn't everything. And the bottom right. line is that Jeb Bush does not have the momentum. His attack on Marco Rubio this week completely backfired. It made him look small and petty. It made him look like that's, uh, you know, that he's grasping at straws in terms of, you know, being disloyal towards, towards someone who he's mentored over the years. I mean, it looked really bad. Well, the so, Bush yes, folks, as you know, the... but, but to be fair, now to the Bush folks, as you know, Lee, have said just the same about Marco Rubio, that he looks disloyal, that he you know, got his career going, and it's a fine, how do you do, to go back at him. I don't know who's accurate on this. What I do know is that what used to be sort of a, a, a brotherly love between these two has turned into anything but. Anything but. What, what do you make of what happens here? I think, you know, I, I, I think that Rubio came out really, really far ahead of Bush. I think nobody likes to see the teacher attacking the person that he taught. I think, you know, Rubio was the underdog in this one, and it looked like the teacher attacked him, and I just think it was really, really bad for Bush. I think Rubio came out so strong. His response was great, and so I think there's a tale of two Rubios. There's a strong Rubio, and then there's a Rubio who can be almost like a student council president who's a little bit awkward, maybe seems like his suit is too big. I think we're really looking forward to seeing is he going to continue on this strong candidate that we've been seeing that we saw last night? I don't know. Seeing in an hour how he comes out, I think it's going to be yeah. great and interesting to see if he keeps it up. All right. We'll see at the happy hour if he's like smashed at the thing. And he's <laughs> feeling obviously pretty confident. <laughs> Ladies, thank you both very, very thank much. Thank you.